All right, next example, off canvas. Um, so off canvas is a super common uh, mobile pattern. It's actually becoming more and more powerful or more and more common in um, desktop as well. Uh, it got a refresh in 6.3 to make it super powerful. Um, Ooh, it looks like my example here is actually uh, slightly outdated. This is the 6.2 example, so I need to let me take a note to update that. Um, da, 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 da. Let me one sec. I'll take that note and then be right back with you to update the off canvas example. Um, anyway, the only thing that has changed is this outer section, the wrapper and wrapper inner, is no longer necessary. So you can actually set up an off canvas with just this inner piece where you have the off canvas itself and the off canvas content. Um, and what those do it, are pretty simple. So the off canvas itself is what is living off canvas. This is your menu or your panel or whatever else is, is happening there. Um, the off canvas content is what would traditionally be considered your page, right? So this is the thing that's gonna be either shifted when you put this thing on or it's gonna be overlaid. Um, like all of our other patterns, you're going to have something that's going to open it or toggle it, and you're going to have the ID to show it. Um, some more advanced uses, what you can do here. You can make it persistent on large screens by simply adding a reveal for large or reveal for medium or how, whichever size uh, breakpoint you want to start it on. If you add that on, it will by default show when you're on that breakpoint. Um, this is super powerful. Um, We've got, there's a few different other patterns that you can do actually. Um, this one is pretty good where it, you've got a content. Oh, that that link no longer works. Ah, because we relaunched building blocks. So I will need to update that as well, actually. But then I can show you an even more powerful off canvas one. So let's do that. Um, so you can do, you can manipulate off canvas in a number of different ways. So. You can have multiple layers of your off canvas that uh, do that. You can nest stuff inside of it. Um, a fun other one that I want to jump to real quick. Um, and by the way, if, if nobody's shown you this site before, we recently relaunched this. Uh, this is the relaunched building blocks site. Um, and it just contains so many awesome examples of things that you can do. Um, here's the pattern that I want to show. Where is it oh, in this dashboard layout? Uh, so you can use an off canvas showing on large uh, when you shrink down, have it change its size, and then when you go all the way down, be fully off canvas and shown by a hamburger click or something like that. Um, for all of these examples, you can actually just come and see the code. You can copy it. You can download it. So here what we can see is the off canvas itself. Uh, where is it? Don't show that. Let me scroll down so we're just looking at the code. We have the content inside, that's what's driving this, and then the off canvas itself is here, it's got this reveal for medium, so it's all it's showing on medium size and larger. Um, and then it will hide, you know, we have other behavior that's driving the hide and shrink, but then it'll hide on small. So there's tons of patterns available for you on uh, for off canvas. It's a super flexible pattern um, that lets you capture navigation um, in a really responsive way. All right, so if you enjoyed that training and you want more, maybe you want to be able to ask questions directly in real time or get more breadth, learn everything that Foundation has to offer. We offer live webinar-based trainings as well. There's a link up in the corner to check it out. I'm one of the instructors, but you'll get to talk to the whole Foundation team here at Zurb who's working with Foundation, using Foundation day to day. Check it out.